Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to uh, see how to solve a combination based question. A uh, detailed concept is already explained in the uh, main video. So if you have not watched, I have uh, put the link in the description. Please watch the complete video. We have solved many such examples. So we'll, this is one of the previous year's question papers. It is asked in June 2022. There are five women and six men. A committee has to be formed of three people. In how many ways can this be done if at least one woman should be there in the committee? There are two ways of solving this. This I think I have explained in the main video itself. So I will explain both the methods. Both you can, whichever you find easier, you can use for solving this. So first uh, write down the number of people. So how many women are there? Five. And number of men are six. And uh, team should contain, team or committee should contain three people. Now, whenever you have this at least or at most kind of questions, you have to solve it with the help of a table. So, write down a table in which you write number of women, number of men, and how many the team should have. So, team uh, has, uh, team requires three people, right? So team requires three people, number of men are six, number of women are five. Now how many people are required? Three and at least one woman is required. So here the condition is for women, right? So whenever you have such condition at least or at most, start with that group. Here we have at least one woman, so we will start with one woman. So when we say at least one woman, we can have more than one woman also. So if I have one woman, then how many men are required? To make a team of three people, two men are required to make a team of three people. Next is, uh, so, uh, this is at least uh, uh, one woman, right? We can have more than one woman also. If I have two women, then one man is required to make a team of three. And I can also have all three women. Then number of men required is zero. So that the total number of team members will be three. Can I have four women? No. There are five women. But I cannot have more than three. Because the team itself requires three. So these are the three different sub cases. Now let us find number of ways of uh, choosing this many people. So out of five people you will have to choose one. So you should write five. 5C1 out of 5 people you are choosing 1 and out of 6 men you have to choose 2 okay out of 6 men you have to choose 2 similarly right for the next one out of 5 people you have to choose 2 out of 6 people you have to choose 1 next here out of 5 women you have to choose 3 and here out of 6 men you have to choose 0 so these are the combinations now let us solve this 5c1 is 5 6c2 is 2 numbers from 6 which is 6 and 5 divided by 2 factorial is 2 so this gives you 15 5 into 15 75 5c2 solve it in the same way you will get 10 and then 6c1 is 6. So this gives you 60. 5c3 is also 10. 6c0 is 1. So this gives you 10. Now add all this. This gives the total number of teams that is possible. This is the number of ways in which you can form a team with at least one woman. So this is uh, 75 plus 70 which is 145. So number of ways in which you can form uh, three members committee with at least one woman is 145. Now, how to answer this? Write this table. After writing this, uh, just write three lines. Number of ways of selecting one woman and two men. One woman and two men is equal to this, 75. Similarly, write number of ways of selecting two women and one man is equal to 60. Number of ways of selecting three women is equal to 10. Therefore, total number of ways of selecting a three member committee, total number of ways 
of selecting a three member committee so write all that description detail and it is 145 ways so this is your straightforward solution so another uh, solution is an indirect solution you will do it only when the question says at least one okay so if it is at least one only then you should use this alternate method in this alternate method see what all possibilities are there here we have five women and six men right and we need only three members in the committee so understand with different ways of forming this that is one woman two men we can do this way or two women one man or three women zero man or zero women and three men all these are various types of uh, teams that you can form so for at least one woman we have considered this three isn't it all these three we have considered in order to know um, how many teams you can form with at least one woman so this is the only thing that we have excluded right this is the only thing we have excluded so the indirect solution is where in the indirect solution this is also correct you can use this method as well for uh, uh, solving this type of question but again remember you will use it only when the question says at least one in any one of the category it will say at least one so in this question it says at least one woman right so what is the indirect solution is first find out total number of uh, team members total number of three member teams okay total number of people okay total number of people or uh, um, okay total number of people is uh we have five women and six men right which is 11 okay five plus six 11 totally we have 11 people so number of teams number of teams with three members or number of three member teams is equal to 11 c3 totally we have 11 people in this i am going to select three three people so what will be the answer three numbers from 11 11 into 10 into 9 divided by 3 factorial which is 3 into 2 into 1 now 3 threes are 9 2 fives are 10 uh, this is 15 into 11 is 165 so 165 different teams can be formed with three members uh, this teams are actually selected from this 11 members gang now in this 165 uh, teams we have all these categories included right in this 165 teams we can have all three women all three men or one woman two men or two women one man uh, all that included is 165 teams now our question says at least one woman should be there so in this 165 teams if you remove those teams which has only women then the remaining teams will have at least one woman so find out number of teams with no women with only men number of teams with only men the question says the team should have at least one woman find out how many teams are there where there is no women so number of teams with only men or number of teams with no women uh, is totally how many men are there six out of this you have to choose three this will have only three men uh, team right so six c3 is six into five into four divided by three factorial three factorial is same as six so you get 20 so how many teams are there with at least one woman number of teams with at least one woman is the subtraction uh, you subtract this at least one woman is equal to 165 minus 20 which gives you 145 which is same as the previous one this is indirect solution this to be this is to be used whenever you have at least one as the in the question okay so find out total groups uh, how many people are there in each group add all of them that is the total number of people from this how many members are required for the team take that 11 c3 this is the total number of teams possible now do the opposite of what is asked in the question at least one woman is asked right so find out uh, how many teams are possible with no women so find out that subtract this from this total number of teams that gives you the required answer so in three steps 
you will get the required answer. This is total teams possible. This is number of teams which is not supposed to be considered. Difference between this is a required answer. So here what we are doing is this is a straightforward solution, direct solution here. We are considering all the possibilities and uh, then we are adding it. So here there are 75 teams such as there is uh, such that there is one woman and two men. There are 60 teams such that there is uh, two women and one man and there are 10 teams in which only three women are there. Totally, we have 145 teams in which there is at least one woman. So this type of questions uh, almost occurs every alternative question paper. So practice this. It is Once you practice, it is easy. Three to four marks will be given for this type of question. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.